that we have been asked to give input. It's, we're not the only department that's uh, you know, involved in this conversation. Um, there are others involved in the regulatory framework like DEFRA. There would be um, aspects of the Department for International Trade's perspective on uh, the freedom to trade and so on and so forth. So we are, you know, we're, we're involved very heavily, but we're not the only department which is involved. How is your uh, how is your view and has it evolved since since I think everybody's understanding of these options is evolving rapidly, yes. uh, both inside and outside uh, government and, uh, and Whitehall. And um, how has your view uh, or has it changed since last summer's white paper? Well, we have we have more information about um, implementing the options. Uh, what the costs might be for the government, what the costs might be for businesses. Um, so we understand, if you like, the deliverability of these options much more than we did when the, the last time we gave you some um, evidence. So I think that's where, if you like, the policy has deepened in terms of our understanding. Both of us have travelled fairly widely and spoken to a number of businesses. So you know, on a personal level, I've been to 12 ports now and airports and two fast parcel operators to say, okay, if this was the policy, how would that work for you? Um, in order to for us to gather more intelligence and then for that to enrich the conversation about what would what would the reaction be for businesses and ports and so on and so forth. So I think we understand more about the policy and its implementation. And now I think that helps ministers with the impact of their policies uh, relative to their negotiations and other factors.